There are times in the human experience that we may find ourselves drawn to somebody for reasons that we can't even explain to ourselves. Recently, someone asked, I'm 54 years of age and I have seen so many spiritual teachers, but I have never been drawn to anybody like you. I'm helplessly being drawn towards you. What is it that you got? And I know the term guru can cause a lot of confusion. Trust me, I had the same. Entering guru into the internet search engine Google yields around 434 million hits. There is a guru for everything these days. Even when I arrived at Sadhguru's ashram, there were a lot of doubts about everything. I never simply accepted something someone told me as a truth. I always wanted to explore or know the truth through my own experience. And doubt is healthy in my opinion. What I've observed in my life is either people become suspicious or they become fanatical believers. Doubt is good. It means you're searching for truth. Suspicion is sickness. Suspicion means you have assumed negative aspects to everything and now you're suspicious. You will be only eager to prove your assumption right rather than wanting to know what is the truth. What I realized with time was that I had focused too much on Sagar as a person. What he says in his videos, what people say about him, and I missed that which is beyond his physical presence. Guru is just a device. Guru is not a person. This must be understood. Only when you begin to experience me as something more than a person, only then I am your guru, till then I am not. A guru is just a, a live roadmap. Guru's grace is not designed to fulfill your plans, but life's plan for you. I don't have anything that you don't have. It is just that all of us were given a seed that had the possibility of boundlessness. You are a very careful man. You are very careful and good, so you preserve the seed. I destroyed the seed and made it into a tree. If you want to make a seed into a tree, the seed has to go. If you nurture the seed, it will become a tree. If you keep seed as a seed and walk around, it's stupid actually. But it is not. Preserving yourself is considered smart. To destroy the limited possibility of what an individual person is, is not considered smart. To be exclusive and to be preserved is considered smart. So after all, you are a smart man. Now one of the common things people struggle with is how their family reacts to their sudden interest in all things spirituality, yoga or meditation. And you might feel like you have to justify yourself to them or even justify it to yourself once it happened. When I returned back from my one year stay at the Isha Yoga Center in India, my sister came into my room when I just had shifted things around, put up a few pictures from my trip to India and also a picture of Sadhguru and the main temples he has consecrated. My sister came inside the room, not really stepping inside, quite unsure what's happening there. And just from the door, she looked at it and she said, so is this some kind of new religion you're in? And here I was pondering how to answer her question. But I must tell you, whatever I said at that time was not making her relate to this new version of me. How could I expect her to understand when she did not experience what I had experienced by using the tools that Guru offers? It was impossible. She, she was even wondering why do I have this old person, a picture of an old person in my room. She couldn't relate. But here's the catch, even if I did not have an answer, but I had that urge, that, that feeling within me 
that innate wise part of myself that was aware that there's something in this connection, something in, in the participation of being in this presence that benefits me. And maybe you can't explain it, but people will notice that you have changed. That being said, change oftentimes leads to resistance. So your family or friends might not want to accept or embrace your change because change means moving out of the comfort zone, the way things were before. It is all too unfamiliar for them and that can cause anger, frustration and doubts. If you are right now in this situation or entering in one of these, in the middle of it, the best thing I can say to you is trust yourself. When we are guided to go somewhere that doesn't seem to make sense, Listen to someone that is not from a culture or belief system. Do practices that no one around does and yet we know it is working for us and we're going to be fine. We're curious and we're hungry to know more. And it's exciting because there's a gift even greater than the person itself. That being said, I must tell you that one year later, when it was my birthday, my sister actually gifted me a quote from Sagu. And it was just a poster that I hanged on my door. But and at that moment, it, there was a certain release, you know. Because all this time, I also put pressure on myself, trying to show them why it's worth it, why, why it makes sense. But at some point, I just let that go. I did it for myself. And there, there was a point in time when when my family then started to, ex to accept the new version of me. And it just took a little bit of time, so be patient. What a guru means is one who is willing to become your doorway, not a destination. A guru is not your destination, he is your doorway. Please walk through this and may you find ultimate well-being for yourself and may you offer this to every other life upon this planet. Thank you so much for watching the video until the end and I'll see you in the next video.